everyone welcome to another bonus special episode on the channel uh this was supposed to be i think to celebrate 100 subs which already happened like a week ago but uh better late than never i guess uh but once again uh, i'm gonna be playing some fun games uh with a very special guest uh heather as she was in the full guys and among us video say hi heather hello i mean hi she's back on the channel um, our <laughs> very special mvp that we always have and we're going to play some board games, which is what we actually do on the weekends, which is yeah. uh, <laughs> play board games in TTS. If you've never seen what TTS, we're going to show it off today. Those of you from my channel, I know there's so many of you already know what TTS is, I'm sure. Yes, <laughs> TTS is the bomb.com. Here it is in all its glory. Oh, I'm trying to get a good zoom. There we go. Oh, but yeah, so today we're going to be playing... Um, a game called Chronicles of Crime. For a bit of background, Heather and I do escape room board games. Like, well, we we don't see each other that often now with quarantine, but we did them all the time when we were in school together. Um, I don't want to say we're pros, but we've done so, <laughs> so many by this point I mean, in time. If 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 someone were to look at us playing an escape room, they would be like, I wouldn't say they're pros. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> passable just passable uh do we have stupid moments of course are they funny yes um but sometimes it's the quality of the escape room that leads to the stupid moments in our defense but uh we haven't well we just did the tutorial for this game so we won't look like complete idiots playing it for you guys um and it was fun uh it involves skating on the phone so i kind of started the stream or not the stream the video accidentally by having the screen open but as you can see uh we'll have the screen of the phone so you can see what's going on the app is free um and the game is free if you're playing it on TTS. So, hey, this cost us nothing. So <laughs> that makes it feel even better. Uh, but yeah, let me close that up for now. And we're just yeah, going to jump in. I was going to say, for, the, for it being free and everything. So um, so the tutorial and the uh, the first uh, file. So um, if you go to like the one we're going to do today, which is the London, London Forensics, the power behind for a scenario. Both of those are completely free, available on the TTS workshop, and also available as print and play if you happen to have people at home who like playing board games as well. Um, so just wanted to give that shout out to the um, publishers of the game. Yeah, for sure. Free things are good things, as we learned in college. Uh, everyone likes free things. <laughs> <laughs> everyone likes anywhere. in college. Yes. Yeah, All and right. even more so in, in, in adulting. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, God. Same. All right. So we're going to go through and I guess we'll just jump right in. Right. So the uh, the power behind. Yeah. Yep. The first one, which is difficulty easy. So like Allison said, I mean, passable. We, we probably can do this. <laughs> there is a parental advisory. Uh, but as Allison has said in previous videos, this channel is not for kids. <laughs> no. So if you are a kid, um ask your parent if this is okay uh we don't swear that much i do a little bit so uh <laughs> it shouldn't it shouldn't be that uh detrimental to your child's well-being if you're a parent watching this uh but yeah so we're gonna go in we'll take turns reading um and uh hopefully we can solve the crime do we want to okay. press it at the same time <laughs> yeah let's go i'll 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 cut out us counting it down <laughs> all right sounds good are you gonna count right. down <laughs> No, <laughs> you, you got that. Okay, <laughs> two, one, go. All right. <clears throat> Do you want to start? Oh, sure. Uh, Scotland Yard, day one, 1400. Chief Officer Doyle, number 83 person. 30, 33? 33. 33. <laughs> has summoned you to his office. There he is in all his glory. I'm trying to get my screen right so you could see. Yeah, they could still see him. Okay, good. All right. Uh, your team has been put in charge of a murder, which happened today in Hyde Park, location D. I got it. I got it. All right. Sorry, I'm not trying to make you work on, do all the work. Uh, That's all right. We'll take turns, right? Yes. Once there, you find the gardener, uh, person 40, who discovered the body, person 10. <gasps> oh, I didn't. I got to show you surgeon. There they are. The body is the lady. Uh, come back to the Scotland Yard once you know who did it. You don't necessarily need hard evidence for this case. That seems All right. a little... Solve the case. Let's go. Right here, right now. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah, right. but moving forward, we could, we could probably... Whoever's one reading won't search, and then the other person will search, yeah? yeah that sounds good. 
All righty. So do we want to get like a like a brief from Doctor or from Officer Doyle? Yeah. Do we are we there already? Yeah, we are. We might as well talk. Yeah, there, we're already right? at Scotland. Yeah. All right. Sounds good. Let's scan. Right. Should I should I be Officer Doyle? Go for it. Yes. Enlighten us. All right. So yeah. So we talked about this before. Uh, but one of the things that I thought we should do is, like, uh, do voices, and then if someone else has to voice that person for whatever reason, they have to con- maintain that person's voice if, if, if they remember, assuming they remember. Me and Heather, our voice acting skills are just so incredible, so be prepared <laughs> to be you know, blown away. I told Allison this will be good for my D&D um, <laughs> voices. Okay. Uh, All right. So, Chief Officer Doyle. Ah, uh, newbie seeking help. No problem. I love to see rookies flounder. Let me remind you of the basics. Take a close look at the crime scenes because you could probably be missing a clue. Collect the clues and show them to your suspects. Make them spill what they know. Remember that every action costs you time. If you have other questions, show me the subject you want to discuss. All right. Sounds good, bro. So do we want maybe to discuss um, the, body? The, the body? Yeah, well... Because when we were briefed on it just, like, in the intro, it kind of sounded like they just heard about it. But, because, like, in my mind, it's like that gardener is probably going to tell us exactly the same thing that Oh, uh, so we should just go us. talk to the gardener? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. To save time? So, yeah, Because that was definitely me. a time waste. Uh, yes, it was. All right. Uh, so, yeah, sure. Let's go. Uh, Hyde Park? Yep. So, goodbye. Oh, I didn't say goodbye. Uh <laughs> Do I want to exit? Yes, I do. It's okay. It worked for me. It said, do you want to exit the mode and go? So it worked. We're okay. All right. Perfect. Okay. Alice, do you want to do the Oh, yes. Is it my turn? Okay. The victim's body, 10, is still here. I thought it said warm. It's still warm. You can investigate the crime scene or interrogate the gardener. Oh, do I want to do the crime scene first? Yeah. Let's do the crime scene first. Um, And... Uh, do you want to look in the scene, or do you want to do the like search, the like searching for the stuff? Um, you said yours records sideways, right? Yes. Did yours not? Uh, I don't know. I didn't get to see it because it froze before then. Remember, so I'm not entirely positive. All right, all right. I'll do it then. Not a problem. I will close this out, and I'm so. What Heather's gonna do? We're gonna put our videos together, so she's gonna record the scene of the crime, and I'm gonna search through these piles. So it's the left one, right? We're looking for the magnifying glasses. Um. Yes. All right. So if you see something, uh, let me know, and I'll try and find <laughs> some something that relates to it. All right. And and a quick, uh, just like pre pre uh sneak preview for the people who aren't familiar with this game. So the box that comes with like this headset you can see on the screen right now that you would like put on, and it'd be like three D. But we're not. We don't have that. <laughs> we got all this stuff for free, so we're just gonna do it without. And you can just like turn your phone around, and you'll see all around the crime scene. So that's what we're gonna do today. And we only have forty seconds, so hopefully I'm not blind and don't miss anything important. Be fine. Oh my gosh, this looks like a Renaissance painting. Oh, that poor woman. There is a shovel. There's a shovel. definitely a shovel. What are those? Is that a... Oh, there's a book? Uh, I don't know what that is in the background. There's definitely a book. Very prominent. What is that? I have no idea. It's like a box of some kind? A bag? There's definitely a doll. Like a a creepy... Yeah, a creepy, like, little girl doll. Ooh. It's just, like, prominently displayed on, on the ground. A box? Oh, there's also, said? wait, I almost missed it. There's a syringe, two syringes. Ooh. I'm not sure. Oh, it blacked out. I'm not 100% sure what the box was. It was like, it was a, it was definitely some sort of box, briefcase type of situation with like a bag around it. I'm sure the viewers are going to be like, it was this other, and they'll be like, ah, you're right. All right. Um, I'm over here if you want to see what I got so far. Okay, I was just turning off my camera. Okay, so let's see. Boxes, yeah, boxes and packages definitely cert for sure. Melee weapons, was that for the spade? I, I wasn't tools. sure, gardening tool. Either I or. got had this first, I wasn't sure which one. Games and toys, medicine and drugs. Yeah, I think that's it. Did I mention anything else? See any blood on her body? Like, was she? Oh, yeah, there was a huge splatter of blood beneath her body. Is bl- I don't think blood is a thing, though. Let me see. Plants, photos, and cameras, clothes, like, blood, and like organs. Liquids? There we go. 
Okay, okay. We could probably have them autopsy that or uh, whatever. Look at it. Die. That might be it. Uh, animals That's... at all? No, no animals. Hey, bags. There's bags in fashion, but you think more boxes and packages? Oh, certainly. Okay, solid. Footprints and traces. Any footprints? Uh, no. There, for I don't think this is footprints, but I and I don't think it really matters. But for some reason, the like doll was like in kind of like a small hole it was like it was kind of looked like a footprint in terms of like how deep it was but mm -hmm. it was definitely just like a circle it wasn't like foot shaped okay any trash I I was... no no trash it looked like a very well-kept park very surprising for this day and age Solid. so i'm guessing that might be everything we <laughs> shout out to you guys for sleeping park, <laughs> okay so this might be it so you said it was a shovel yeah, it was definitely a shovel. Okay, so I think that's a the, pretty important one. The shovel did not have any blood on it, but the syringes did, by the way. Oh. And is they this... were ha but they were half full. Yeah. You think syringe is this? I didn't see like sh syringe as an option, so I think medicine Yeah, drugs. I think this is fine. I think this is fine. All right. So, uh, what do we want to do first? Maybe maybe we I feel like we should do all the steps like it Don Europa style. So, we like looked around, gathered all like the clues. I think we need to look at the body. Oh, yeah, okay, let's look at the body. Let me see. Oh, I, let me put my screen share back on. Uh, click. There we go. Solid. All right, let's, let's you look can probably You can probably just, like, leave it up. Or, no, nah, probably probably be better if you click it off. I just did it so that when I was searching through the pile, people could see everything. Yeah, no, you're, you're definitely right. All right, you want to read? Um, is it, is it my turn? I guess it's... No, it's your turn. It's your turn. The death happened around midday. She's a young lady from a good family. Evidence of an attack is obvious on the body, but no identification was found on her. The body will be taken to the morgue. Hmm. Should we talk to the eyewitness? Um, sorry. Let's... Um, uh, yeah. If we can't... Well, it didn't prompt us to talk to the doctor about her, but do you think we can? Uh, yeah, they said her body was taken to the morgue. That's where he works. Okay. But he, but it won't, we'll just be calling him if we talk to the doctor. I feel like we should talk to the doctor now. Okay, let's call Just him. to close this part. All right. A good old Dr. Jeremy King. Go ahead. Uh, do you have a body for me to study? <laughs> yes, oh, I do. Oh, you're going to make me do a British accent. Okay. Of course okay. I am. Gotta give the viewers what they want. The body shows obvious traces of a fight right before death. Her mm. tense hands show that she was holding a weapon with both hands. The mm. best estimate for the time of death is 12.30pm. The victim bled to death. Death wow, was caused yeah. by... Oh, sorry. What? Okay. No, go ahead. Oh, death was caused by a small melee weapon, piercing and cutting. Wounds on her stomach indicate she was stabbed by a right-handed person. You should discuss the weapon with your suspect to make him talk. Okay, so so I would say she was holding the shovel in self-defense, and whoever attacked her probably stabbed her with the syringes or something, because I didn't see anything else that she could have been stabbed with there. You said there was no blood on the shovel, right? Right. Maybe she was, yeah, maybe, I don't know why she had a shovel. Maybe she worked in the gardening of the park or something? Well, well, likely this witness here, right? He's probably not the murderer. He was probably nearby working on some stuff, left his shovel, like, nearby, went to go do something, came back, and she was dead next to it, right? Or he did it. Okay, or he did it. Let's talk to him about it then. Goodbye. Right. So we should talk to him about... We should get his name first, right? Talk to him. Yeah. Your turn, Heather. The gardener is next to the crime scene. He seems in a bit of a panic, but is willing to answer questions on any topic. What do you want to talk about? <laughs> yeah. Brusque. Yeah. I like it. The body, right? Yeah, let's talk about the body. I don't know her, but we had a fight this morning because her little girl was ripping out my flowers. Do you know how much time is needed to make flowers grow? Ooh. I was very surprised after lunch when I saw her. She committed suicide, so I called the police. What else could I do? Okay. Committed suicide. What? How? What? What? He said it was self-defense. 
the he's doctor, not making any sense. The doctor said self defense, right? Most likely in self defense, right? Wait, where's her daughter? <gasps> Scary. Where is her daughter? But we can't. We don't have like a card for her daughter, so we can't ask him about it. Um. Let's ask him about the doll. Oh, it's probably from her. Wait, daughter, let's right? ask him about the yeah, the doll, the doll. It must be the daughter's, right? Should we ask him about that? Yes, I think so. Hopefully, it comes to something. Oh. Hmm. Might be the doll of the girl who was with the victim. Yes, that's possible. So he's saying she's a victim, but also committed suicide? Yeah. Hmm. This doesn't add up. Uh... Maybe we could ask him about... I think we should ask him about one of the, like, weapons. Like, maybe... I personally think we should ask him about... Wait, have I... I don't know. Yeah. I wonder if he planted the syringes to make it look like a suicide? Possibly. You want to ask him about them? I don't know. Do you think he... I mean, uh, like, you said there was blood on those syringes, right? Yeah. So I wonder... There's no blood on the shovel, though, which even if she used it in self-defense, you would think... Like, it's weird. I mean, like, there... there, there it wasn't a cl perfectly clean shovel, but that being said, I feel like if there was blood on it, they would have made it, like, prominent, prominent. and they yeah. definitely did not... Because, like, they said she was stabbed in the stomach, but, like, can you, do you use syringes just to stab someone? Like, you know what I mean? She yeah, died from loss know. of blood. And especially with a syringe wound, you cover, you could easily, like, co like cover that up. Yeah, it's like, the, you don't normally blood. bleed that much. <laughs> I like that, it's interesting that he said suicide, so that makes, me, he's suspicious now. Okay, so I was joking earlier, but now I think he did it, so... <laughs> Uh, yeah, should we ask him about maybe the shovel or the the needles? Yeah, I don't know which of the two. I, I think we should ask him about both. I guess it doesn't matter. Do you have a preference? Uh, I feel like the needles will make him nervous, potentially. Alright, let's see. Let's see if we can scare it an answer out of him. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yes, I know. There's a drug dealer, 46, that operates in a park at night, but the police won't do anything about it. Interesting. Oop. Mm. Search character. 46. Ooh, look at this guy. He's a he's a fine fellow. Well, he operates in the park at night, so is he technically at the park? No, he operates at night, so we don't know where he is. Right. Okay, but that seems like... I, people do this in crime shows, though. When they're trying to feign innocence, they blame it on some known criminal, right? Like, you know what I mean? Right, right. Let's ask him about the, the gardening tool. Because we, we wanted to do that. Let me come over here. Oop, I gotta scan. Scan. Yep, that's my shuffle. I left it there for lunch. It was a mistake, and I should have learned from that time a homeless guy, 41, stole my tools from me. Ooh. <laughs> it's kind of scary. Well, we don't know where he is either. No. I feel like we need to find the daughter, though. I feel like that's, like, the underlying, like, crime that yeah. we need to, like, solve, you know? Where the heck could she be? We need to ask these other people. I don't, do we... So we didn't... We didn't oh, scan we sh... any of these Yeah, yet. we didn't should scan we? any of those. We should have. We well, Let's say goodbye and we can scan them now, right? Yeah, because then maybe we can take them to the forensics lab to know what's in the syringe and stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So you want to do the syringe first? Uh, Maybe, yeah. All right. You can read these. Do, 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 do. Come on, scan. Please scan. Oh. Those are used syringes. It would be good to find who hangs out in this part of the park. They might have seen something. You found okay, a clue. Yeah. Medicine and drug syringes. Nice. You can add it. Solid. We put it up there. This is where the clues go, everyone. Right down here. All right. Okay, cool. Gardening tools next. All right. I wonder if we should ask him. No, we already asked him, right? About the gardening tool about the the drugs like i wonder if we need to talk to the homeless guy or the even the guy who deals the drugs maybe oh yeah yeah we probably will but um i don't know where i guess we don't really know where they're located so the i guess the game will tell us if we can talk to them now or not yeah no i figured i i already scanned the gardening tool sorry i thought we were doing that <laughs> oh no you're fine all right it's solid do you scan it yep you pick up a shovel on the ground it's slightly dented 
He found a clue. Gardening tool. Shovel. Woo. I mean, we did ask him about them, and he did acknowledge them, so I feel like it's not he that should have automatically to... given it to us, to be honest. Like, we're being intuitive. Like, we don't, we shouldn't need to, like, verify them, I feel like. Let's ask about this one. Yeah. Oh, sorry. My OCD. <laughs> Games and toys. Uh, an abandoned doll Ooh. is on the floor. Where could her owner be? So creepy. Okay. I wonder if the box is not a important then, the thing you saw. Well, we didn't scan it in. Um, I think we should... I think we should... There was a lot of blood. So we should scan the blood like, organs? I think we should scan the blood and organs. Sounds good. Uh, lots of blood at the crime scene. It probably took several minutes for the victim to die. Oh no, that's sad. Oop, you found a clue. But I feel like... Uh... Ooh, sorry, Limey. <laughs> That's going to be on the video. Uh, I feel like um, suicide, you don't normally go for something that's like, well, okay, I, okay, well, I guess some people do, but I don't know. Uh, that seems weird. I, I, I don't, I honestly agree. I don't think we need to scan either of these. In my mind, I think it's safe to make the assumption that these boxes and packages, this, what it, what it's, what it's coming to form in my mind is that the the like box I saw, which was like a briefcase kind of, was the case that the like syringes came in. Yeah, I'd buy that. So I, yeah, let's just. I think we should just keep these to the side. Maybe put them over over here to say like, oh, we thought maybe these were relevant to this, but not confirm them yet. Yeah, that's fine. Sure. Okay. Um. So who do we? I guess. Can, should we just try and talk to one of these two? I don't know where they are, but... Well, he said that the guy comes to the park at night. So I'm assuming if we were to scan the guy while at the park, maybe it'll say, like, you guys wait till nightfall to talk to him or something. That's a lot of hours, though, I guess. Mm, that's true. Do you... Well, what about the homeless guy? Where Did, did he say where the homeless guy lives? Uh, at the park? Yeah, I think so. Maybe we can see if we can talk to him at the park. Yeah. Yeah, let's try. Analyze us. Too much. Right. So you, we'll be, you be this guy. I don't want him over here. Yeah. <laughs> Just assuming he's here. All right. He's kind of scary. He has very blue eyes, though. I'll give him that. Yeah. That's very bright. All right. Oh, he's I'm... there. Nice. Yo, man, what can I do for you? Ross Hart. All right. Uh, Wait. Oh, they said, what did they say to ask someone about? Well, the no, they they ask they say yeah the drugs, but of someone who comes at night, so not that someone who's familiar no, the with tool. the area, right? No, they thought they said that someone comes at night. Let's. Have, I know that that the the gardener said that Ross had stolen his tools before. Okay, yeah, we can do that. Gardening tools. Uh, it's not mine, bro. I tried to make my own little private garden in a quiet area of the park. You see, but it didn't really work. Guess I don't have a green thumb. Oh, poor guy. Ask him about the drugs. Sure. Oh, don't bother me with this, bro. I'm just a casual consumer. <laughs> you should go and see a Leonardo. It's 46 instead, so he can hit you with the harder stuff. Mm. All right, let's just try and see if Leonardo's there. Because they did say they took the body to the morgue. So if she's here, that means there is a spot at the park for him. All right. We'll try it. If he doesn't, if he's not there. Goodbye. Ask we'll him about, should we ask him about the gardener oh. or no? Uh, no, I don't think so. I think it's pretty clear what their relationship is, like, in terms of him stealing it and then just trying to make a small garden. Or do you mean, like, maybe, like, he has to say something about his character? Yeah, that was the only thing I could think of, but... Yeah, go. I mean, go for it. Wait, wait what's your time at the top that you have? Uh, 3.20. I have 15.25. Oh, yeah, that's 3.20 in military time. Oh, okay. We have five I have more minutes. Yeah, so you just scan it and I won't scan it. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'll ask him about good old gardener, bro. Uh, yeah, the gardener. Not very talkative. He doesn't see life on the bright side, if you want my opinion. Okay. Mm. Great. Nothing important. Well, not very bright. Maybe he's an accomplice. Maybe it's not him. It's not the gardener? Yeah, maybe it's... Because he's not bright. Oh, he right? said he, he, he doesn't see things on the bright side of life. Like, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought you said he doesn't seem very bright. <laughs> no, you're good. Okay, all right. Let's uh, let's talk to the drug dealer drug now. Dealer? 
Leonardo DiCaprio. Oh. Oh, he's not here. Maybe we he's need to go park. ask uh, Scotland Yard where he is. Yeah, let's go back. Or do we want to call the morgue about her really quick? Oh, no, we already talked to her. Him. Yeah, we already talked to them about the... Oh, so, yeah, we don't... Wait, wait, to... wait, wait, wait. Really quick. Huh? I don't think this is a good idea. <laughs> but I'm going to say it out loud anything. What if we ask uh, the forensic about the medicine? Maybe she can, like, determine more about, like, what's in there? Uh, yeah, the oh, the scientist over here? Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't see why not. We can call her. All right. Ring, ring, Lucian. ring. Oh, I guess I'm Lucian. <clears throat> if you give me a physical clue, I can analyze it. Oh, are we going to bring it over here? Oop. Yeah. Syringe. Let's talk to her about this here drug. There we go. Let me scan that boy in. Those syringes have been used, and remaining traces show they contain drugs ranging, ranging from heroin to morphine. Oh, yeah. Okay, we probably knew that. Yeah, so they said they were used syringes, so interesting. Did she overdose? Well, that's what he's implying she did. That's what they want it to look like, but, like, why, why would she, would she have stab? Yeah, like, that doesn't make any sense. Where's the murder weapon? Like, she could have stab been stabbed with the spade. Yeah, I don't think so. They said it was, like, a bunch of small cuts, right? So, like, it's like a knife. Right. All right, All right. do we Maybe go we... to Scotland Yard yeah. and ask about him? All right. Scotland Yard. 20 minutes. Oof. Yikes. So, uh, solve the yeah. case. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We talked to Officer Doyle. Yeah. We... Oop. Because they have a criminal record on him, like, right? Uh, they should. They should have at least right. some detail. We're going to ask we about him, right? We already read that part. Yeah. Leonardo. Oh. Cool. I almost dropped it. Oh, oh, darn it. Terminology. I was think I was thinking, I was like, maybe we should ask him, but I was like, uh, I don't know. Tar I'm so sad. I forgot we All have right. a terminology. All right, everyone over here is our, our good friend, uh, Bring, Harvey Marshall. Uh, Leonardo. All right, Harvey. All right, you, you, or I guess I'm Harvey. Or no, you're Harvey. Oh, am I? <laughs> what did I give you? Oh, no, I accidentally scanned the morgue. Oops. Oh, Heather. <laughs> uh, who, uh, who, sh who should I study for a psychological profile? Uh, good old, I forgot his name, Leonardo. Uh, Leonardo Baruch is well known to law enforcement, but he always manages to find ways to stay clear of the police. He's not a big dealer, so he usually gets away with it. We could find him in Lambeth District, location H, most of the time. Lit. H. That's kind of a scary place. Alright, should we go there? Even though we just wasted 20 minutes going back to <laughs> station. Uh, you know, you know. Oh, wait, should we ask him about the daughter while we're here? How can we ask him about the daughter? We don't have a card for her. Games and toys be enough? Do you think or no? No, I don't think that'd be enough. Fair. All right, let's go here. We can H. always call him again. That's true. Yeah. Oh wait, don't ask him about H. <laughs> Jesus, keep leaving the interrogation. We're gonna forget. Uh, your turn to read, right? You can try to find someone in the district. So let's gotta, find Leonardo. You gotta be Leonardo, Heather. Oh. <laughs> I don't know how to be Leonardo. What well, do you want with me? <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna say? I was gonna say a gangster voice. Uh, What's that like? Uh, hey, what do you want with me? <laughs> oh, you expect too much. Are we asking Next. about the drugs? Yes. Or the girl? The drugs? The drugs. The drugs. Ooh. Okay. How do I do this? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you, you let me do my business and I'll give you names. Ross, 41, he's Southern now, and Buck, 44. They're the ones you'll find with the most easily in the park. Oh my god. <laughs> Why is he here? Why is he here? They needed someone. Why does he have a red eye? Goodness. It's all the drugs, Heather. I'm just going to zoom in on this, guys, for you, for all you people watching from home. <laughs> Yikes. Okay, so do we want to ask him about anything else while we're here? Uh, should we ask him about the girl? I still don't know how to ask people about girl. The girl no, no, not the daughter. Have... The, the, the dead lady. To see if he knew her. Like if he's like, oh, I never sold oh, that's to a her. good idea. You know I mean? Yeah, because 
if she he never spoke to her, then she probably didn't OD. I mean, she came from a well-to-do family. Yeah, so I'm inclined to think. Let's ask. We'll see if he's like, I've never seen that chick before. Oh. Hmm. Want to read? I can assure you, I was in the park when it happened. I'm only there at night. Yeah, he's just southern now. It happened during the day. Duh, we knew that. All right, goodbye. Do you want to go talk to Crazy Face over in the park? Yeah, we have to go back to the park now. All the time. All the time. For reference, traveling is 20 minutes, and um, talking to people and examining things is five minutes. So, uh, and and time does time is a factor uh, in your score. So, and the scene. Apparently, you can get different endings depending on time. Just letting the viewers know. What is that? Oh, um, just ignore it. <laughs> <laughs> Modding is not easy. All right, so <laughs> we're gonna talk to Crazy Face. Yeah, what's his name again? Bruce. Who oh, says no one corresponding to this description here? Is he at the freak? Is he at Lambeth and Brixton? Didn't he say he was at the park? I thought he said he was at the park. Should we go back and check? Let's go. Yeah, let's go back. <laughs> Cut our losses. All yep. right, guys. We didn't say we were going to do great. First run through. Yeah, this is our first one minus the tutorial, which went okay. Oh, nope. He's not there either. Oh, I didn't even. Good, I didn't scan it. <laughs> Interesting. Um, Wait, we should ask the criminologist about him. Oh yes. Okay, let's give him a call. Yeah, let's bring this over here. What's up, Harvey? He does look like a uh, a man who's needs help. Seen the bars. Seen the bars. Uh, did I do Harvey? Oh no. Yeah, I did. I did Harvey. Oh, no, I oh, did Harvey, right? Uh, last time? Yeah, you yeah. did Harvey last uh, time. Buck Barron is, I forget what accent I gave him, is a drug addict without money. He has frequent mood swings, and we can't say he's really reliable. Oh, good. <sighs> should we, we ask him about her? Where, we need to know where he's located. Are Wait, we... we should ask him about him. Oh, yes, you're right. Watch it be wrong still. Hey, should we ask him about the gardener? Oh! Oh, good. Uh, let's ask him about him first, and then okay, you can ask him about the gardener because I'm at uh, what is that? Five fifteen. Okay, I already clicked on the dude, so I'm at five twenty now. <laughs> oh, okay. I scanned Leonardo for him, or well, Leonardo uh, then the crazy dude. You read Leonardo, Heather? Uh, eh, I already gave you some names. You don't expect me to tell you about his life on top of it. Buck is a good guy, or is a guy with no luck. That's all. All right. We asked him about the gardener. Sure. Ah. This pig think he think he rules over the park because he he has a rake. Pfft, how pathetic. Oh, maybe it's the rake. The rake. <laughs> is the murder weapon? Could be. The small function ones, possibly, I guess. I don't know how, how sharp did no one see is. that though. It's in the middle of the day. I don't think anyone would just be like, "Oh, is that girl ODing over on the picnic?" Like, I don't think that happens either. But uh, should we ask him about the other dude too? No, I think he'll give us the same response as this one, right? Probably. All right. Plus, so... we already talked to him. What now? We need to find this guy. We still have no idea where he is. We know he's not here or here. Right. He's not in jail, right? Uh, I don't know. We could ask Scotland Yard about him, I guess. Well, the criminal well, I mean, He might just tell us to go back to the criminology guy, right? No, he won't, because we know the criminology is a dead end. Let's let's go back. Let's go back. He's our help anyway. Yeah. He's our help button. <laughs> Come on, scan. Scan it. Hold on, I can't scan. Oh, there we go. Yeah, spending time like I got it. All right, let's talk Ooh. to our broski. Ah, yes, newbie seeking help. All right, mm -hmm. we're going to ask about the dude. Yeah, you be him. Uh, if you're, if you're sure he's guilty, you arrest him. If you are wrong, however, you'll lose lots of time. Uh... I wasn't suspecting him. Not that <laughs> you asked. <laughs> Can we ask the gardener about him? I guess so. We haven't. 
Uh, losing that time. Oof. To the park we go. All right. Are you sure you want? To... Whoops! I forgot to exit the mode again. Okay. So hey, gardener boy, what's up? Uh, yep. He's in a panic. All right. Oh, oh, oh. Let's ask him about our dude. Oh God! I zoomed in on his face a little too much. Uh, you, Heather? I think. Um, what name? What voice did we him? I don't even remember. Yeah. <laughs> I know Buck. He's a lost soul who hangs around here sometimes. He's not a bad lad, though. He offered me a beer once while he was totally broke. Fascinating. So he he kind of likes Buck. Hmm. But he keeps saying that Buck is supposed to be here. I'm scanning this again. I feel like Buck's supposed to be here. Oh, it tells me I'm wrong. To him? Oh, gosh. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to try and talk to him. It doesn't work. Darn it. I'm glad that, like, it's... If it like if you're wrong, it doesn't add time. Yeah, thank gosh. What else should we ask about though? No, I feel like I missed anything. Where's her daughter? Who has her daughter? Is this the guy or not? We can't seem to. We haven't even used the hacker yet. We haven't had any technology to ask him about. Can we ask her about the shovel? Maybe there's fingerprints. Mm, sure. It shouldn't hurt. I don't. It won't cost. Well, I mean, it might cost us like five minutes, but at this point, we spent like four hours just moving everywhere. <laughs> yep. Let's All right. The uh, shovel, right? Yeah. Oh. Oop! There you go. Go ahead. It's your turn. Oh. Uh. What voice did you get? For? I don't even remember. There is some blood on the shovel. According to my analysis, there are two different blood types. One is A positive. They almost said A plus. The other is B <laughs> minus negative. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So there's two blood types. So we need to confirm. Wait. Should we? Types. Should we check the blood? To confirm it all With comes her? from her. Sure. Why not? You know. This seems legit. Oh. The doctor will tell you more about the blood type of the victim. As for the suspects, I think you should ask them directly. We have to ask them about their blood? Oh. We have to ask them about their blood type. Wait, so on the shovel was A positive and B negative. Well, they said she put up a fight, so she could have scratched one of the people attacking her and gotten their blood on the weapon. And that's why they had to wipe it off. Maybe. Right. Um. Yeah. So sorry. The um. My phone is like. Did you click next yet? Uh. Yeah. Does it say something about like the chief officer and like the Kensington district? No. Interesting. Did yours? Yes. <laughs> what time are you at? Eight thirty. Oh, or I'm not. not. I'm sorry. I did that. I, I just read the... It's 1830, so... Okay, so I'm at 1825. So maybe that's like an event that happens because you're at a certain time. Uh, oh, you're right. Okay. I won't just do the next thing then. Okay, that just that just scared me there for a sec. Okay. I do something for free with my five minutes. <laughs> ask what her yeah. blood type is. Yeah, ask one of the, ask one of the people what their blood type is. All oh, right. wait, let me... Yeah, and then we can type it in. I think it's... Uh, ask, yeah, ask the gardener, I guess. The park, right? Okay, so let's, so go to him, and then we're going to go up here, and we're going to scan blood, see what happens. My blood type, it's B negative. Oh, my blood type is B negative. What voice <laughs> do we give him? Uh, oh, here you go, I got it, Heather, the chief officer? Yeah. You want to read? Go okay, ahead. yeah. No, you no, no, I already clicked next. You read it. Oh, oh, the chief officer tells you that the victim has been identified. It's Amelie Girard, a French woman living in the Kensington district, location F. Okay, so Ooh, his blood type is B negative, so it could be his, but why would his self defense, right? Well, yeah, if she fought back, she could have hit him and maybe he got his blood on that, but he wiped it off. Right. Or tried to. Tried to, yeah. Should we call and see what her blood type is? It's probably A plus, A positive, right? Yeah, I don't think we need to call. Do we need to check what anyone else's is? Should we check what like this guy's is while we're here? 
Honestly, I feel like he's trustworthy. I'm really sus of this guy. Yeah, because we don't know where he is. He also already said he, he has no, basically no idea who this lady is. Yeah, I don't think it's him anyways, because, like, obviously the drug lord would be in a criminal, you know, you know what I mean? Like, I don't, I don't think he's going yeah, to murder some random person. Yeah, he's got a good with the drugs. He doesn't need to prove himself. <laughs> Alright, so we should go to Kensington and Chelsea? Yeah, but, and um, what, check her apartment? Uh, yeah. Maybe Why they'll not? give us another scene to look at? Yeah. See if it's the apartment of a lady wanting to commit suicide. Well, the house is big. And it looks expensive. The name Blanc, Blanc is written on the mailbox. When you ring, ring at the door, a woman 16 opens. Oh, 16. Search character. Hi! <laughs> Why is everyone scary in this game? Oh, she looks like one of the titans from Attack on Titan. Oh, my lord. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna talk Doesn't to her. She, though? Yes, she does. Uh, that's hi. What I thought. Let's talk. Hi, lady. Oh. Uh, uh, is it you or me? You. Sorry, Mrs. Blanche isn't home yet. I will help you if I can. Number fifteen person. She doesn't look that scary. It's about time. She's not home yet, so she's someplace else. Okay, uh, should we ask her about the girl who died? Yeah. Oh, she looks kind of mad. Alright, let's ask her about, I already forgot her name, Amelia. Yeah. Scanny scan. Sweet Emily, dead. That's horrible. She was the nanny of Clara, number 14, the ambassador's daughter. <gasps> Where is daughter. Clara now? <gasps> Where is Clara now? We don't know. Wait, can we ask her about Clara? Yeah, sure. Does she have a doll? Uh, it's Clara. She's nine and she's such an adorable little girl. I prepared her picnic this morning and Amelia brought her to the park. That's our girl, right? Number 10? Yeah. Yep. Uh, I love this little girl so much. I would like <laughs> to have a girl like her, but it's always Amelia who spends time with her because it's her job, apparently. Pfft. Night has come, but you can't wait until tomorrow to continue the investigation. The chief officer informs you that a little girl, 14, is missing. We knew that, and was last seen in the park. Does this have something to do with your investigation? Yes. I feel like this game is thinking we're going slower than we are. In reality, we're just accidentally moving between non-relevant locations. <laughs> well, no, when I'm trying to, like, because, like, when, when that... Like, when the location was revealed to us, we were already, like, scratching our heads what to do, like, oh, you know, like, too fast. two, like, in-game hours previously, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And then we already, I mean, well, the girl one isn't, like, that surprising. I feel like you know that, like, right away, everyone's like, what's gonna happen? And then we literally just discover at the same time that it's telling us, I feel like that means that we're either on the money on terms of time, or we're, like, just, like, we're, like, short or something. It's, like, offering us a bone when we don't need one. Right. Okay. So we ask her about the doll? I feel like that's extra, right? Yeah, I'm not sure if, like, she'll be like, oh my god, that's her doll! Maybe she's yeah. in the park when they just told us she was last seen in the park, so maybe we don't need to ask her. Yeah. So do we go look for her in the park? I think we go ask the gardener about the girl. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'd buy that. All right. Go back to the park. Everything happens at the park. Hey. Oh, my hand's on it. Scanny, scanny. Oop. It's night now, and the park's attendance has changed drastically. Oh. All right. So we're going to ask him about her? Yeah. I hope he's still here. Oh. Oh, no, he's not. You want to Oh, read? he lives. Oh, sure. <clears throat> Cal Thomas, the gardener, isn't working at the park at this hour. Luckily, he lives in a neighborhood not too far away. He opens the door in a bathroom. What can I do for you? <laughs> I can just imagine he's fed up with us now. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Tell me about this little girl. Oh. That girl is a nightmare. The devil itself. She was with the victim this morning, and she was having fun destroying all my little flowers. I hope I never see her again. Oh, he has a vendetta. I feel like there's more than that, though. I feel like, now hear me, Allison, I'm going to call it, I'm not going to call it, but I'm my theory, right? Is this girl is the ambassador's daughter. She is, like, high property. Like, he was probably, and he has a reason to not like her. Uh -huh. So, he was probably, like, paid off to, like, 
kill her or like capture her or like assist in some way. Like I said, accomplice, you know? The daughter? Yeah, the whole like, si- like the whole crime. They are saying he was paid off to kill the nanny or kill the daughter? Like or any- kill the kill the nanny. Like I don't, we don't know if the daughter's dead. She's probably not dead. She's probably going to be offered for a ransom. Maybe. Yeah, she's kidnapped. Yeah. Because there was no like blood trail or footprints or anything like that. I mean, they also could have paid off one of the homeless people to honestly kill her and take the daughter too, though, because they're desperate. Like, drug dude could also have been him, right? Yeah, I'm so suspicious of him, certainly. He might have also be another accomplice. We don't know. Wait. Yes. Do you think it's night? Since it's nighttime, do you think she's home now? Or that he's here? Yeah, he's probably here. Let's ask. Let's see if he's here now. Oh. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> oh, darn. Nope. Is the is the drug dealer in the park? We don't need to talk to him again, right? Probably not. Yeah, I don't see any reason why we would talk to him. Okay. Yeah, I mean, she's probably back, right? Yeah. I, I, other thought is maybe he's here, but I think we should wait. Yeah. All right, let's go. Back to Kensington and whatever. A homeless guy, if he's seen the daughter? Maybe not. Oh, I already left, but you are welcome to if you'd like. 41? I mean, what do you think? Yeah, I can Yeah, and I can do, like, another question thing so we can even up. Alright, so, uh, yo, man, what can I do for you? Hey, have you seen this girl? Uh, cute woman, but I don't know where she is. Oh, okay, never mind. Hey, now we're on even time slots, probably. Uh, okay, so we're going back to Kensington and Chelsea? Yeah, maybe she's home. They just said that the lady showed us in again. Uh, the house expensive. Sixteen opens the door. All right, so should we just try and see if we can talk to this lady? Oh, this yeah. person doesn't seem to be here. Oh, well, I guess she's not there. <laughs> Man, where is she? Do we have to wait for more time to pass? I hope not. Um, you know what? Should we just ask her about the doll? Nah, let's not. I see it's like such a waste of time. Hey, let's ask her uh, about the drugs. Do you think she'd know Why? if the nanny has any like drug tendency or background? But wouldn't have, this guy have known? No, well, not, said something if he not did. necessarily. I guess if he wasn't her dealer, you know what I mean. I don't know. Mm, fair, but I feel like the game is kind of small worlds situation you know well yeah i was just like maybe she would say whether or not she's like suicidal or anything but i guess the drugs don't necessarily link to the suicide like cut and dry you know what i mean mm-hmm. i mean who else could we ask about the girl uh i don't think we need to know the girl's blood type I was wondering if we could, like, ask the criminologist about the girl. Daughter? Yeah. Maybe he'd know where she went. Yeah. Based on how a little girl might act in this scenario. (laughs) Or maybe related to, like, motive behind the ambassador's daughter getting kidnapped. Yeah, we can try that. Let's bring her over here. I don't know, man. It's so strange. It feels like we keep running into dead ends. Right, but it's not like, I don't think we're misunderstanding anything. No, no. Do, 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 do. Scan, scan. Oh. Uh, you or me, reading? Go for it. Uh, it's not easy to make a profile of someone you haven't met. If I look at her school reports, however, I can see a nice girl. She's only nine years old, but she seems to have a knack for manipulating her teachers and classmates to do something childish, some childish things and get away with it. No, oh, so she isn't, like, perfect. No. She's a troublesome little girl. Okay. So there is a re- like there is reason for him to legitimately not like her. She doesn't seem like perfect. She was going around ripping up flowers for no reason. Like you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, but I didn't know if that was him like exaggerating or yeah, him like telling the truth. Okay. Um, I mean, unless we need to ask the uh the like um. This girl about, um, 
uh, ask her about this lady to prompt her being there. I don't know. Like, be like, hey, is she back mm, yeah, yet? Let, yeah, we can ask her. Might as well try it while we're here. Yeah. Uh, oh, nope. She just says, sorry, Mrs. Blanche isn't home yet. Yep. Okay. Uh, when is she gonna be home? It's like nighttime. She should be home soon. <laughs> what time is it? In It's like 7.50. Why is she home? <laughs> um, I mean, should we go ask Scotland Yard about the missing daughter? Yeah, let's, we, yeah that's what I was thinking as well. Try finding her at the park? Did we try seeing if we could talk to her? We didn't, but I feel like we should go to Scotland Yard first. I don't think she's at the park. Like, will we be able to find her at the park is what I'm thinking? I don't think we will. All right, so let's go to Scotland Yard. It never likes when I try to scan this one. Let me go like this. Ugh. Oh. All right. Oh. Oh. Your turn, Heather. Go. Oh, the Scotland Yard informs you that the investigation of the park is over. Two weird guys have been seen at the park. 41 and 40, 41 and 44. Nobody knows where they are He now. was at the park? Damn it. What? We were at the park and we thought we tried to look for him. Yeah, it didn't work. That's dumb. Ah, no one knows where they are now. Was he there for two minutes? Nah, like an hour. Alright, so let's hey, ask maybe. him about the daughter. We should ask him about the guy. I don't know, he's like... Go check with the... Oh, which guy? To... No, no, we already asked him about the 44. It's about the daughter? Yeah. Oh. Uh. Go ahead. A case of a missing girl? I have several missing persons yeah. cases these days. Some are talking about a mysterious organization acting in the shadows. I want results. Don't disappoint me. Hmm. Okay. I, I think the ambassador daughter thing is so... So both of these guys... Are, like are missing now, right? So these both they were both in the park, but they're not anymore. We don't know where they are. They went. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. He lived. Do we want to like ask him if he saw them? Because he lives nearby. Would it he matter if he saw them? Maybe he saw which way they went. Maybe. Either that or maybe the lady's home now since an event passed that was time based. Yeah, let's go let's go see and we keep going back to this woman's house. She's like, Oh, you're you're good. I'm just gonna sleep yeah. here until she shows up. Yeah, legit. It's not like we're trying to find her daughter or anything. You think she'd be at home so she could help police. Trying to get to the house and I can't scan it. Oh, there we go. Alright. Oh uh, your turn. Oh, the chief's officer is calling you. Bloody hell, are you going to hurry up? It looks like a little girl is a key element of this case. Did you contact her parents? We're trying to contact her mother, but she's just not home, okay? <laughs> oh, where she is, I don't know why wait, she wait. is. Can we call her? Swear to God. No way. We can't. No, because we've tried to scan her, right? And it says, like, she's not at this place. Yeah, yeah, you're right. We're over here. Let's see if we can talk to her now. All right. Scan here. Nope. They're not here. We can't call her. We don't know her number. Uh, does she have a father? She doesn't seem to have... The, the ambassador is her father. Did we, we don't have the... Did we ask the maid about her? About the mom? Yeah. I thought we did. Did we? Oh, maybe. I'll just try. Let's just try again. I don't know her, right? We already getting hurry-up messages from the freaking game. Oh my god, are you kidding me? <laughs> What? Mrs. Blanche is, in, is the French ambassador in London. You will most certainly find her at the French embassy Aww. in the Westminster district. Location A. Why didn't you just freak? She's like, she's not home. And then Why she did you tell, tell me that she, where she could find her? <laughs> Goodness. One would think. Uh, helping an investigation. Why? What a novel idea. I love. I love the prompting. I love it. All right, I guess mm. we're going here, right? Oh yes, we time to con. Now we're behind, certainly behind. All right. Uh, there's a security guard in front of the embassy. Person number forty-eight. Search. Here he is. Oh, he looks very dapper. Dapper. 
Alright, do we talk to him first, I guess? He looks like uh, one of the uh, time agents. He does. You gonna read for him? Oh, sure. Are we scanning him? Yeah. Sorry, I can't let you in. What do you want? Come on, Abel. Should we scan the lady? Yes, we want the lady. We want the lady, please. The ambassador is busy and can't be disturbed. Come back when you have an appointment. Tomorrow, maybe. Let's tell her about her daughter. Let's say his her daughter is missing. Does she not care? I don't know. Let's see. You come about the ambassador's daughter. I guess we'll let you in after all. The ambassador should see you. Is there anything else I can do you for? Do for you? Uh... Do we want his like third party objective opinion on the victim? I was gonna say, or do we want his blood type? Maybe he did it. No, we can ask him about the victim if you want. I I suspect everyone. <laughs> it's definitely not him. Let's ask him about the victim. All right. I know Emily pretty well. I met her at the ambassador's house here in Kensington. F. I go there sometimes when she asks me. Who? Which she? The ambassador or Emily? I, I hope know. the ambassador. <laughs> Alright. Well, that's it, I guess, eh? Uh, we can go talk to her, right? We go talk to her? Yeah. I meant with him. Oh, oh whoops. Else. I almost scanned again. Goodbye. Okay. Alright, you're the ambassador. Well, the ambassador wants to see you with haste. What is the topic of our meeting? What do you mean, girl? Your daughter is missing. No, uh, clearly the topic is your daughter. Poor little crazy pants. How do you know about my daughter's kidnapping? They told me not to warn the police, and I hope talking to you won't put her in more danger. Oh, oh here we go. I received a go. message Ransom. on my phone. Keep the phone. Uh, star 03, if it can help. He found a clue. Special item 3, the phone. Special <laughs> item 3. Ooh, do we scan it? Do we call them? Should we ask yeah, her about let's... the victim? Um, Maybe she'd know that they killed her for some reason? Sure, why not? We're asking everyone about her anyway. What you the know security about... guard? <laughs> He's like, I don't know. <laughs> Poor Emily, I did not know she was dead. Oh, nope. Thought she was a suspect when she was really a victim. Oh, she thought it was her. Damn, okay. Wow, you don't trust no one. Alright, let's, uh... Do the cell phone then, I suppose. We say goodbye to her, or do we still say goodbye to her? Yeah, I'll say goodbye. Goodbye. Ooh. You already have the phone, so maybe you should show it to someone. The hacker. Oh, yes. Uh, let's give him a call. Hey, can you see this phone through the phone? What's up, Broski? Yeah. I think it's my turn. Yes, it is. A technological <laughs> issue? That's my specialty. <laughs> right, phone, phone, phone. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Alright, let me scan this boy. I managed to track the message. It was sent from an abandoned house in Lambeth District H. Do we already have H? Oh, we do. Yeah, we do. For the drug so they is. must be here. Let's go. Come on, we're hot on their heels. Goodbye. Nope. We have to say goodbye so both of us know to click it. Yeah. If you click a location, it'll be like, are you sure you want to leave? Oh, what does this say? Oh, you can look for someone in the district or go to the abandoned flat you have discovered. Button search for clues. Ring. Ooh. The phone the ambassador gave you has a new message. If you want to see your girl alive, you have three hours to put the money in the third trash bin from the left of the main entrance of Hyde Park. Ransom. Just show this message to the ambassador. Really? We just left. We gotta search the scene, Heather. Yeah, we're searching. Ready to right. search the scene? You want me to do it? Yeah, remember, because mine won't work. Okay. Here's your luck. Let me minimize this really quick so I could search through the pile. And let me know of anything you see, Heather. I will do so. Searching. Commencing. Five. <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Uh, broken TV? Oh, looks like alcohol bottles on the floor. Take out. Not that that matters. Uh, a couple paintings of faraway places. Fan. 
bed. Ugh, the little girl's clothes. <gasps> They're neatly folded, though. Mm, more old food, takeout, booze. Booze. Open light. Foot loose. I think that's <laughs> it. <laughs> wow, that's it. Solid. Liquid. Gas. You literally said liquid as I pulled out the liquid card. Okay, hey! so girls' clothes, alcohol, trash, food, bedding. I don't think furniture. There wasn't really technically furniture. The bed? And not kitchen utensils. Yeah, bed for sure. I think this is good. All right, solid. Let me put my thingy bopper back on. I think the clothes are especially important because they could be the little girls, right? <laughs> Oh, they certainly, most certainly can be. Most certainly, All most right. certainly. Mo most, most deaf. <laughs> Alright, All right, let's so scan, scan these the clothes. bad boys in. Yeah. Oh. Those are children's clothes for a girl and a boy mixed together. You found a clue, clothes. Scary. I'm sure the crime, like, scientists could tell us if they're hers, right? Like, find DNA on them? Sure, yeah. Um, I honestly don't think the rest is relevant, but I mean, yeah, not the really. only other thing is, the only other thing would be like the alcohol, which, what does that mean? It's a drunk, probably homeless person. Yeah. Someone who has an addiction problem. Should we ask them yeah. about the clothes and see if there's DNA or her? Sorry, Luchin. Uh, yeah, sure. Luchin, tell me about the clothes. All right, you do, you do, Luchin. E come on. Oh, uh, it's a bunch of secondhand children's clothes, but there's also a dress that's nearly new. Oh, that's probably hers. Gotta be hers. But it's interesting, they've got a lot of kids, apparently. Yeah, like boys' clothes and stuff? I don't know. Is there another stolen child? Can we check the bottles? Uh, there wasn't necessarily really liquid, but there definitely were bottles, at the very least. Yeah. Scan them if you want, I don't care. You gonna check them? There could be DNA on the bottles. Um, bottles of alcohol, most of them empty. Oh, it's a clue, though. Yeah, that's what I was... Yeah, that's what I meant, sorry. Do you want to check for DNA on the bottles? I already did. It, nothing happened. Oh, whoops, okay. No, you're good. Alright, um... Should we, like, go ask if the clothes are hers or something? Or should we try to see if we can find these two here? Yeah, that's what I think we should do. It's not yeah. going to be so easy to find them, though, I reckon, eh? Probably not, but I don't know. Alright, which one do we pick? This one? Hey, boy. Yeah. Harder one to find. Nope. Alright, next. This guy. Nope. Nope. They're not here anymore. Huh. What do we do now? Oh, we need to go show her the message on the phone, they said. Yeah. Yeah, let's go. Probably also should show the police the message on the phone, but I don't know if they're going to kill someone if we do that. Yeah. Alright. Ooh, it doesn't want to scan. Please scan. Did we just scan the phone, I guess? Yeah, I'm trying to get the place to scan. Hold on. Oh, there we go. The guard nods and let you through. Thanks, bro. Thanks, Again. bro, Steph. Thanks, lady. What is the topic of our meeting? I don't know. How about me trying to save your daughter's life? All right. Ready? Yep. Is it me or you? Is it me? I don't know. <laughs> you go. All right. Uh, the previous message told me to gather half a million pounds. I just managed to get all the money together. What should I do with it? You are from the police. I'm trusting you. But get my little girl back alive. Add the clue, uh, star zero one, money, to your clues board. Mm. You found a clue, money. Where did so they she say? gave us all of her money. <laughs> hey, uh, she said that we're meeting them at the park. Should we go tell the police? Yeah, we should, we should definitely tell the police. We can't go there by ourselves. What time was that at? Like, ten? In three hours, it said. 
Yeah, but what time did we get that at? <laughs> oh, I don't remember. <laughs> uh, <sighs> at least 10. At most, 9.30. So we've got until 12.30. So we should have time to go to the police maybe and tell them. I don't know. We can't it's go probably there midnight. Backup. It's probably midnight, knowing how games work. Oh, yeah. It's okay. probably midnight. So, like, but we still don't know who it is. Unless it's those two. And the reason we couldn't find this guy is because he was keeping lookout on the girl. Right. And we didn't know about the warehouse, so he probably was hiding there. Yeah. Should, I don't know, should we... Do we go to the park? Do we tell the police? Wait, why would we go to the park? That's where the drop-off for the money is supposed to be. We go to the... I feel like we, should, we have time. We should go to the police first, right? Yeah, I mean, it sounds good to me. Alright, let's go. Go tell them about the money in the phone. What's up, bro? Should we tell them about the money or the phone? The phone. Alright. I wish he could track it. Uh, the hacker guy? Yeah. Maybe he can track it now. Oh, we should have done that. Darn it. <laughs> Maybe it's like in a different location now. Oh. Don't forget to pick up the clue by scanning it inside the location and show it to your suspects or to have your teammates analyze it. Yeah, we should have him analyze it again, right? The dude? Probably in a different look. Yeah. We probably have the park, but... Hacker boy? Yeah. All right, scanning the phone. Gloom Mary, the oxymoron. Favorite dude. Oh, same thing. Oh, should I scan it? What time do you have? 2310. Oh, I shouldn't scan it then. Okay. So we can't actually talk to him about anything. Because we literally were like, hey, there's a phone. And he's like, try to scan items by looking at them in your inventory. <laughs> Yeah, he's, he's our help button. So, he said to try asking people about stuff, but who would we even ask about the phone? Well, I don't, I think, I think he was telling us to, like, ask the, like, hacker about the phone. And we already did that. Yeah, we did. I guess we go to the park. I don't know who else we could talk to. Yeah. I'm, like, nervous. We're gonna get ambushed. Maybe we just solve the case here. Yeah, we get attacked and then we hobble back to the police and we're like, hey, <laughs> we know who did it. Well, if we wait too long, don't we, like, lose? Well, yeah, because I figure if we don't take the money to the park and the time passes, they're just going to, like, kill her, right? Like, I don't yeah, want that we need to happen. Yeah, we need to report them now so that they get there before that happens. The case, probably. Yeah. It's but do time we, out Do we know for sure it's those two? We don't know which of the two it is. We know both of them are missing. Uh huh. But we don't have solid evidence against either of them. I mean, it could be if they were trying to frame the gardener. Well, okay, so here's the thing A, we know they stole the gardener's tools at one point. B, they readily have access to drugs. So if they wanted to make it look like she OD'd, they could easily do that by just throwing some of their used needles there, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And C, they need the money, obviously. Like, right, because they're homeless. Right, and so if you're like, hey, three million dollars, if they know that it's the ambassador's daughter, I mean, uh, they know the park better than anyone, probably. So, mm -hmm. the gardener may be too obvious of a case, because right off the bat he's saying how much he hates the daughter and everything, you know what I mean? Right. No, I definitely, I definitely agree it's, like, one or both of them, but I just... Like, I'm concerned that it's going to be, like, which one. one of these is the... Yeah, and it's only one, that one, or the other one. And we have to pick. I mean... I think this is the case where we need to, like, just make the decision to, like, in, like solve the case. You know, like, when... And, and same thing with Detective, where it's, like, you search for as much as you can... But at the end of the day, they're not going to give you the answer. You have to, like, figure it out, you know? And just guess. Yeah. Interpolate, as they say, yeah. scientifically. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I mean, we, <laughs> hey, we can try. If we fail the first one, I'm not going to be upset. Yeah, we'll just cut it out and, and then do it all over again. And then be like, yep, we won! <laughs> Perfect <laughs> no, on the first try. 
Alright. Let's just look. Solve the case? Oof. Are you doing it? Are you ready? Sure. You're about to try to solve the case and end the game? Sure. Who murdered 10? I don't know. Wait, whose blood was A negative? The gardener's? B Wait, negative. That the... Yeah. It's one of the two. I, I wonder, think it's 44. Why was the gardener's blood on the weapon then? Or not the weapon, but the, the shovel? The shovel? Well, I mean, he uses it, right? It's his tool. Yeah. Maybe he hurt himself. I don't know. Ring? Yo, should we just put the gardener? <laughs> I don't know. Because, like, part of me's like, the gardener's too obvious, but then it also seems too obvious to blame it on the drugs, the druggies. You know what I mean? But, like, they're clearly behind the kidnapping. Like, and why would the gardener kill like, her? I, right. Unless it's all three of them in on it, but... Why wouldn't... The, why would the gardener come back, like, covered in blood, probably? I mean... I'm so confused as to why he called it a suicide, but then maybe that's we just We already know he's not idiot. very bright. Well, he doesn't look on the bright side of life. Remember, that's that's no, I can't break it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, did we just YOLO it? Yo. Yo, we were not prepared for this. <laughs> this happened in Detective a lot, too, to be fair. Well, the like we after we got like into the groove, it got better. But I like how this is easy. This is the easy case, and the next. Well, we're still hard. getting like this is still like different thinking than like the other, like other games that we play. I mean, it's most similar to Detective, but honestly, this game is a mix between Detective and Sherlock Holmes. Certainly, yeah. I mean. I, I, I don't know if I think it's the gardener, but his blood is on the shovel. But we don't know if that, that's what was used to kill her. The yeah. shovel was not used to kill her. She could have used it in self-defense against someone. I'm, I'm sure she did. Based off of Dr. King's autopsy, she, her hand, she was like, she struggled to like stay alive. And she used the weapon with using two hands. Must be the shovel. There's nothing else on the crime scene that would have been, like, wielded with two hands. Yeah. But, like, he would have had some Oh, kind of we marks. should have asked them about themselves, because we know that the murderer is right-handed. Oh. Can we go back? I, I don't think so. The only button is restart questionnaire. <laughs> yeah, no. We can't go back. <laughs> Forgot about the right-handedness. But we can... The only person we could ask anyway is the gardener. If he says he's left-handed, that still leaves two other people. Yeah, because we can never find freaky crazy dude. I bet he's left-handed. The gardener? I bet the gardener is left-handed. They told us that for a reason. Because even though his blood is on the weapon, or not the weapon, but the shovel doesn't mean he did it. Right. They, they, I'm, I'm just metagaming now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> But I, I don't know. That's what I think. I think it's 44, because we could never get a hold of him. So likely, both the homeless guy and the gardener are left-handed. Uh, Number 41 is left-handed, you mean? Yeah, I'm just making a guess. <laughs> My guess is, let's say these two work together. Maybe 41 distracted the gardener. I don't know if the gardener was working, but he could have by like taking a tool or something. Or he took tools that they used to murder her. I don't know. Still don't I don't think that he took by. the tools. Well, he said that he took his tools like one time, right? Right. But I don't know. He just know. wanted to make a nice little garden, he said. Do we want to say it's Crazy Boy? I want to say I'm going to say it's Crazy Boy. Let's go. Okay, all right. We are we are doing this, guys. You behind it? Yeah, I don't really know at this point, so Oh god. They're going to be like, like wrong. Failed. Wrong. What, oh, was, god, the what was the weapon? murder weapon? Oh. Uh... Blood and organs? No, I'm kidding. We didn't scan it uh, in a murder weapon, really. No, we didn't. Because we know that the gardening tools was not. Uh, we could say the syringes. We should have scanned in the freaking box, boxes and packages. Oh. Regret. Um, Regret. Unless they used like broken bottles to shank her. You know what I mean? 
But there were no broken bottles on the scene. Yeah, there weren't. Do we want to say gardening tools and just assume it's one that wasn't there? Unless it was like a knife. Could could be like, yeah, it could have been like shears or something. Gardening shears. And like a a hoe, I guess, if you hit hard enough. (laughs) Yikes. (laughs) gonna be like wrong wrong i know right all right let's go let's just go with the gardening tools yellow this is i i remember i said how good me and heather and i are at these things why was 10 money here ransom who was selling drugs to 10 oh that's easy oh so Wait, someone was selling we know drugs that to 10. Th- okay must be 46 right He's a, it's a drug dealer right I mean, I'm that's the only six. drug dealer we found. Oh, wait, there's so much more. Who was having an affair with the victim? Oh my god, was it the guard? Yo, it was definitely the guard. Okay, well, I'm just assuming a straight relationship. I don't think it was the maid, though. She was my other guess. No, she hates her. Yeah, that's true. I also thought the maid could be guilty The maid at explicitly some point. hated her. Yeah, but I don't think it's... She loves the little girl. No! It's him. Wait, cl- click the guy. 48. I already put him in. <laughs> I, I put him in too. He arrests Buck after a difficult interrogation. He confesses and you find little Clara alive. We can close the case now, but Buck also confesses that he has been contacted by a mysterious organization that wanted to buy the girl. We need to investigate this. To be continued. Yo, look, we got we got it three out of five <laughs> right. <laughs> we wow. got the murder weapon wrong though. Yeah, I want to see the solution. How about you? Five stars. Yeah, let's go to the solution. You why was ten killed? Food? Oh, money. Wait, why didn't we get? Wait, look for the why was ten killed? One money was like not full points. Maybe it, probably it was, the was phone. I don't know. Uh, I already no, no, no. It was something else. I'm sure. <laughs> look, they they docked us twice for the murder weapon. They asked us, so what was the murder weapon? And then at the bottom, it was like, was the murder weapon found? Zero. I was like, okay, okay. All right, let's see solution. Go ahead, you read. Wait, which one's Buck? Buck is the one we called the, he did it, this guy. Crazy this is, boy. This is Buck. <laughs> Buck needed money. While the embassy security guard, 48, was slightly drunk, he told Buck about the rich family he was protecting and the affair he had with their nanny. <laughs> Buck had an idea. Kidnap the ambassador's daughter while she was at the park. The nanny, Emily, tried to stop him with a shovel. So Buck panicked and killed her with a knife before he ran away with Clara. So there's a knife. In fact, she sometimes bought some drugs from Leonardo. Baruch has nothing to do with her death. Wait, why were the needles there then? Oh, like a uh, red herring. We still got over 100 points, which got us five stars, because I think it was the speed. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so <gasps> she wasn't killed because of the ransom. She was killed because she tried to defend... She was killed because of the girl, probably. Right, right. Ah, uh, so maybe... We didn't find the... Where the heck was the murder weapon? I did not see the knife. We probably, like, was on him, and we, like, needed to, like, find it. I don't know. Yeah, I wonder if we I could have found it at the park. In... I mean, we could always look back in the video and be like, huh. So there was the knife. Heather just completely <laughs> missed it. <laughs> nah, I trust your eyes. <laughs> that makes one of us. Less than 12 right. hours. Wow, we still had like three hours to spare. Right, well, because like the, like I said, midnight is probably when the money was going to be dropped off, so. Hey, I think we did pretty good. Yeah. For <laughs> going in and then the first like five questions or like three questions we were like oh first no three idea. questions like oh there was an affair <laughs> that that literally if uh, for you out there we keep referring to detective it's a board game and this is exactly what happened in that game we would find all these details and then these questions would come out of left field like why was there a blue sock hanging in the window and we're like what window where was the sock like we just didn't know and we would make it up which we didn't score very well in some of those, from what I remember. I feel like it was harsh. It was a little bit more difficult. I mean, this one was on easy mode as well. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I feel like that one was a lot more difficult because, like, the app is kind of, like, basically, like, straight up telling you exactly, like, what and where you need to go. Versus with that one, it, like, 
instead of like one red herring, which in this case was like the drugs and everything, it like gives you five. But they're not they're not even technically red herrings though. Sometimes they're like even slightly related, and you think that oh like this is gonna like, get to you to some place, and then it just doesn't. You're like oh my god, you know? Yes, that is exactly true. Uh, well, I mean. Uh, I had a good time. How about you, Ellie son? Yeah, that was fun. I loved it. It was, it was really stressful at the end there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. The the questions were interesting, but I'm I'm I definitely think like this. Obviously, this is like our first full game, and so like as we you know continue to play, I think we're gonna get like a lot better. Mm-hmm. I agree. We got to find out uh, about this weird uh, background crime organization that wants to buy children. Dear detectives, did you enjoy playing this scenario? <laughs> yes. Can we ask you a favor? Would you be willing to wait this on Board Game Geek? Not right now. Maybe later. I press yes, then it it opens the app on my phone. Oh, nice. Oh, so yeah. So next time we'll have to do Chapter Two: The Source of Evil. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. Ooh, that kind of hurt my eyes. I gotta find why Clara was taken. Not for the money, yeah. but for the, for the, for the, well, for the money, but <laughs> that's not why our homegirl was killed. Yeah. Wait, she, what? She, why was she killed? Was it... I'm guessing it's her. She was trying to protect her. So I think that was the. We should have scanned the girl, not the. Not the I money. See. I see. Okay. Okay. Gosh. Gotcha, gotcha. That's my guess. That could be wrong, but that's the only thing that makes sense to me, I guess. Well, makes sense to me too. Um, yeah, I just didn't even think of scanning a person, I guess. <laughs> yeah, me neither. I'm like, it's gotta be an item. It's gotta be an item. Yeah, it's gotta be a clue. Solid. All right, well, hey. Uh, we didn't do too shabby, although I think we kind of fibbed it at the end. <laughs> but it's fine. You did some metagaming with the left and right hand. <laughs> Girl. That's all that matters, right? Yeah. Plus, we kind of thought that there was something weird going on with them because he's like, yeah, I'd go over to her house. And we're like, which her? <laughs> yeah. But but then again, like, I mean, I don't I and I maybe other people have played where they've like gotten more concrete evidence. Mm -hmm. But like, like, I don't think we needed more than that line to be like, of all the people here, it has to be him. You know what I'm saying? Uh huh. So it wasn't it wasn't that metagaming. It wasn't right? that big of a stretch. We did good. We did good. Good job. Pats ourselves on the backs. Uh, Cookies for all of us. Teamwork. We can solve crimes. Solid. Liquid. Oh no. Okay. Well, <laughs> uh, I guess we'll probably call it an episode there. Yeah, I'm feeling I'm feeling pretty good about it. Yeah. Good. Yes, yeah. I th I thought you were like talking to the audience, so I was. Oh, responding. oh no! I'm sorry. <laughs> we're 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 it's doing all good. good. Uh, no. Uh, but yeah, uh, that was a lot of fun. Thanks, Heather, for being on the channel again. I'm sure the viewers appreciate seeing seeing your dulcet or hearing your dulcet. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I just you just put that in the bloopers. Try it. You want to try it again? Yikes! Hearing your dulcet <laughs> tones and seeing your floating disembodied uh, tabletop hand. Where did it go? There it is. There yeah. it is. Like, tabletop is a lot of fun, hey, for all of you guys who haven't played it. I uh, highly recommend. Yes, I also highly recommend. Great, great uh, content for your buy. Yeah, there's like every board game you could ever think of on here. And you can draw cats. So I don't know what else you really need. Friends. Yeah, you probably need some friends. Well, you can go online with tabletop, right? Yeah, you can go up to that whisker. <laughs> well, he's got a funky whisker. Don't judge him. <laughs> All right, so here's Cat of the channel, uh, who's gonna help me do the outro. There we go. So yeah, hey, thank you guys for watching. I hope you had fun watching me and Heather struggle. <laughs> struggle. This is my outro now. This is Cat. Oh, I can't draw the ear. He's fine. He has a earring. You can't see it, but it's there. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah, uh, feel free to leave a like, comment, favorite, or subscribe as this wonderful blue cat is telling you to do sub. Uh, and feel free to tell me and Heather what other games we should play. She, at least they're not red dots. You always give my cats creepy eyes. <laughs> uh, we are thinking of doing a series together at some point. Maybe Portal 2, maybe something else. Probably gotta finish this first, maybe. We'll do the other, other campaign in this. Woo! 
I'm I was down. Like, she'll, she'll react at some point. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm really bad at knowing like verbal cues if I'm supposed to start talking or not. Yeah, I feel that vibe. Yes, no, definitely. I am looking forward to Portal 2. If we do end up doing that, I know Alice and I, I think for both of us, that's the top of our suggestion list. But of course, if you have any suggestions for games that we should play together, you can put a comment down in the description. Allison, at the very least, will take a look at it and then tell me what y'all are saying. Uh, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, you can go ahead and pick up this game on Amazon. Yeah, I know Christmas is coming up, so this would be perfect for you and your friends to play if uh, you're into that kind of stuff. Yes, I totally agree. That's what we'll be doing for Christmas. In a couple weeks, it's playing escape games. games. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Where we actually, actually do do pretty well. <laughs> we do. I think we do really well. <laughs> <laughs> but that's our objective opinion. <laughs> Today we didn't prove that, but we promise that normally we do well. I mean, like. I still don't think we did that bad. I'm not upset with our performance today. Yeah, I don't think we did that bad either. It worked out in the end. We saved the girl. Yeah, we were. Yeah, I was uh, super afraid of like letting, like going to the park, and then like it being too late. We couldn't save her. So I that's that was my whole reason for ending that so early. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm glad we did that. Good call. Good call. All right. It was a collective decision. Yeah. Yeah. You 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 pulled the trigger on forty four though, so that was all on you. <laughs> Allison was like, "Just just let Heather decide. It's too much of a, so a risk if we arrest arrest the wrong person." I was not gonna. I was like, "I'm not gonna take that fall for that." All right, hey, okay, <laughs> but we did it though, so no pain, yeah. no gain. But yeah, uh, sorry, we we will talk forever if we just talk because that's what we do. We're we're horrible at hanging up the phone too. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I already said like, subscribe, whatever you guys are feeling. Uh, thanks for your support on this video and every other video. Y'all are the bump dot com, as I always say. Um, and until the next time, me and Heather signing off from what is this called? Chronicles of Crime. Uh, lights off, dark out.